All right, folks, welcome back. Um, I'm here to do a video on a periodic trend for the smallest radius. Um, you got to remember that uh, on your periodic trends that uh, there are just two basic types of trends. Uh, the one that's on this left and the one that's on this right. Yes, fancy words, and this one for size. Anytime you're dealing with radius or radii or size, you will use this trend. So the trend that we're going to be paying attention to is the one that increases going down a column and uh, right to left in a row. So uh, that's the trend that we will be applying here. So uh, increasing uh, going down and increasing going this way. Yes, I'm sorry, this is the way that I learned it in college and in high school. So this is the way that I still teach to this day. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, mark up on our periodic table so we can actually uh, attempt to pick out the uh, smallest radius. So uh, let's pull up our uh, periodic table. Okay, here's our periodic table. So let's color, co uh, let's uh, highlight the ones that uh, have been given to us. We've been given AS. So AS is right there. So let me dump that. We got AS. Uh, we've got TE. Uh, where is TE at? I'll find it eventually. Oh, right there. And we got TE, and we got P, and we've got AL. All right. Now, um, what I always do is I, I find them first by the largest. So um, the largest one that I would have, well, uh, since our trend, let's draw our trend on our, uh, on our periodic table. That way we can see it a little bit better. Our trend for uh, atomic size is increasing going down and increasing coming this way. So between these two we know AL is uh, the largest here, okay? Between these two, okay? And uh, between these two we know that AS is the largest, okay? And TE has to be larger than AS because it's further down. It's got more shells. So since T is further down, and it is the furthest one down in the periodic table, it's got to be the largest. So we're going to put TE way over here because we know TE is the largest. So uh, if TE is the largest, then uh, what next in line is the largest? You know, I guess the second largest. The second largest would be the AS because it's still the one that's furthest down. So AS would be next. Okay. Now, is there another anything else that's smaller than AS? Uh, well, remember it increasing it increases going this way. So since it increases going this way, then that means the AL is larger than P. Okay. So which one should be written down as the smallest then? The smallest one is the one that's uh, top right okay and our top right our most top right element then is P so P should be our smallest one okay because it's the one's top right this one is larger than the P so the AL should be right there okay so let's go over that one more time in case uh, anyone missed it and maybe I did a poor explanation okay the the largest side is down here this is your largest section okay and uh, up here, this is going to be your smallest section. Okay. The question said, which one has the smallest radii? So you look for the one that's most top right to be small. And if you look towards the bottom left to be largest, the one that's closest to the bottom left is TE. The one that's to the uh, top right here is phosphorus. So it's got to be the smallest one. So our smallest radii should be phosphorus here. Okay, so the answer here should be C. Now let's make sure that you understand why aluminum is larger than P. Since the trend increases going this way, AL is larger than P. Now P itself is smaller than AS because AS is further down, and so is TE. Okay, so I hope that helps as far as uh, getting to see why phosphorus would be your smallest one here and why the TE would be your largest. Now like I said if you want to get exact and the best way to do it is to look them up on the internet uh, use a CRC um, you know that, that's probably the best way. 
So, uh, but as far as using the trans to figure this answer out, this is the best way to do the problem. So, anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful. So, let's just do some more, practice some more, go online, find some uh, websites to practice, some worksheets to practice on, and just knock it out. All right, guys.